Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a very exciting brand new launch from Sonia G and this is the Sky Face Set. Before I get into anything, I have to say a huge thank you to Beautylish and Sonia for sending these over to me. I cannot put into words how grateful I am. I have truly fallen in love with this brand and these brushes. It's just the amount of time and effort that goes into these, it's just, you can really tell. And I'm really excited to have these in my hands and be able to share them with you guys, show you guys how they work, get into the details and everything. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. The very first thing you guys need to know is that today is launch day. They launch on Beautylish today and they retail for $270. And you're getting all five of these brushes. Instead of first telling you guys the details and everything and then getting into the demo, I am going to go through each brush as I demo it on my face. So let's go ahead and get started. The first brush I'm going to use is the Soft Cheek, and this is described as a domed brush that delivers sheer to medium coverage. Due to its versatile size and density, it can be a blush brush, bronzer, sculpting, setting, finishing. You can literally use this brush with so many things and it can jump from one job to another in a brilliant and easy way. When it opens, which is what happens after you wash it, it's fluffy but definitely not floppy. It has a medium density and even though it's quite flexible at the surface, it offers a lot of control and strength. And I'm gonna show you a picture of it brand new and then after a wash, I personally did not get to wash these brushes in time for the video. I really wanted to make sure this came out today. So I asked Sonia if she would be okay with me using her pictures. I can testify to every single one of my brushes from her line that this happens with them. Every brush I have used has opened up just a little bit, which is kind of typical with any brush that you use. But Sonia's brushes really hold their shape after they have bloomed or opened up. They do get a little bit bigger, but after that, they don't start spraying apart or anything like that. I will have to keep you updated, but I'm willing to put money on not having any issues with any of these brushes because I haven't with any of hers in the past. I first used this brush as my bronzer brush and I used my Dior Wild Earth Bronzer and it applied so beautifully. It definitely went on a little bit lighter when I first applied it, but then it built up very nicely, blended out very effortlessly, and this thing is so ridiculously soft. But what I love about these brushes is that while they are soft, they still are workhorses. They still apply products so beautifully and you have a lot of control out of it. So if I wanted that sheerer wash of color, I could get that, but then I'm also able to grab the product and really get it onto the skin. It is beautiful. I will be using this again later for blush, but now I'm gonna move on to the opposite side of my face where I'm still gonna be using this bronzer, but now we're switching to the worker fan. Again, I'm gonna be inserting a picture of what it looks like when you buy it versus after a wash. But this brush is described as the fan brush that can do any task you want, hence worker in the name. It's the perfect size and density to handle brush, bronzer, sculpting, and even highlight. It's actually a smaller version of the current sculpt one. The thicker Hakka Hood, I'm not gonna pronounce that correctly, but I will leave it here so you guys can see. Bristles are highly efficient and blend applied truly effortlessly. It's fluffy so the application is not going to be harsh and difficult to blend. This brush applied my bronzer really really well. Now let me show you some of her other, let me grab it. I do not currently own the larger fan brush but I think after trying this one I'm going to purchase it but I have to say this one works really well but let me get into that in just a second. So this is again a worker fan you can see the size difference in the Fan Pro, which is a lot smaller. And then this one is an angled one, um, the Sculpt 4, right up against it. And then one that I use all of the time. I love this brush for buffing. This is the Sculpt 2, so you can see there. And also, I'm going to leave down below a link to her blog, and she has so many posts and pictures of all the different brushes and the size comparison. So that's going to be very helpful for you guys. This picked up my product very easily. It definitely picked up more right away than the last brush I used. And I was able to just 
blend this onto the skin. What I really like about it is that I can go in this direction, kind of paint it on. I can flip it around and blend. I can get my jawline really well. I can get this area of my face and I can blend up on my forehead. I like how you can move this brush around and really kind of get the contours of your face. This is going to be a beautiful contour brush if that is something you do. Typically, I just use bronzer, so like that's how I decided to use it today, and I just, I love it. And it feels really, really nice. It's not quite as soft as the soft cheek, but it's still incredibly soft. Like you're not gonna be putting this on your face and feeling itchy, scratchy, or anything like that. But again, it is a workhorse brush. Now we're gonna move on to applying blush. I'm gonna be using two different brushes. And this blush from By Terry, this is in the shade Platonic Blonde. I've just been in love with it, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use it again today. The brush that I'm going to use first is this one right here, and this is called the Classic Cheek. The Classic Cheek is the most versatile and universal blush brush I could envision. Due to its size, density, and shape, this brush is also appropriate for bronzer, contour, or highlight application. It offers scalable precision and intensity depending on how you hold it or the pressure you use. This brush picked up the product in my pan so effortlessly, and it it just went onto the skin beautifully. I really like how dense this is because I can get that like tapping kind of motion where you kind of press the blush into the skin and then you can also blend as well. In comparison to the Cheek Pro, they, they are side by side. Again, remember that this one will bloom out a little bit. This one is a little bit longer and I would say that this one's just slightly more dense. In my opinion, this one's just slightly more dense and I feel like I can get more of that packing action. Whereas this one, I like to swipe and blend. So it's just gonna be a preference on how you like to apply your blush. This, again, is going to be great for contouring because it's gonna go right in the nook right here. I personally wouldn't use it for highlight because I like smaller brushes, but like Kelsey, I can see her using this fan brush going to town for highlight. She loves those bigger brushes for highlight. I feel like I have a tiny little face, and so I need tiny little brushes for that area. You saw me applying my blush with the classic cheek, but now I wanna show you how it applies with the soft cheek. And this is what I used to apply my bronzer on this side. I just wiped it off, and then now I'm applying my blush with it. And it just, there's something about the softness and how this just moves on your face that is beautiful. If you want something that is really just going to blend, you see that, do you see that motion? It's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it, I'm, I'm okay. All right, <laughs> moving on to the next brush. I am really excited, you guys. Okay, uh, then I did my highlight as well as underneath my eyes with my By Terry powder which I did my highlight first, I had to think for a second. So I'm using my Dior Compact that now has a hole in it. <laughs> I'm grabbing this shade right here, and the brush I am using is the Mini Cheek. The Mini Cheek is a precious tool when you are looking for a targeted application, but you don't necessarily want heavy results at the very first swipe. I absolutely found that statement to be true. I was able to apply my highlighter and it applied it very softly. Whereas some of my synthetic brushes or brushes that are just like a little more dense can kind of pack on a punch really quickly. This one you can build, but it goes on nice and lightly and softly at first. So if you're somebody who is struggling, you get too much highlighter on your face and you want to have a brush that is going to be just softer. It's going to apply it lighter. This is it. And again, I wiped this brush off and I went in with my new By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder in the shade Rosy Light. This is what it looks like right here. And I tapped this in here, tapped off the excess, and then I went in on both sides. I love this for this area. Typically, I use, I keep looking up for my brushes and I keep forgetting that they are down here with me. I love this brush right here. This is the Detail Pro. I use this a lot for this area, 
but I like the size of this one. So this is probably, I don't, I'm not gonna say replace because I have a lot of brushes that will do multiple things. They're just going to be little friends here for this area of my face, but I feel like I get the job done just a little bit faster. And if I don't wanna have as much product, this just does a beautiful job, just beautiful. I especially loved how it went on my forehead. A lot of the times I can get too much product on my forehead because of the brush. This is it. Oh my gosh. It's like the bee's knees of adding a highlight to this area because it just adds the perfect amount. You don't get too much. I love it. And I just love the way it feels too. Again, all of these brushes are incredibly soft. Oh, I could just sit here and do this all day. Okay, moving on. We are now going to be talking about my favorite brush in this collection. I can honestly tell you there is nothing in my entire brush collection that I would compare to this. I know she does some comparisons on her sites to her brushes, but I am so in love with this. And you guys might be wondering, okay, why didn't you show us applying a powder to set your face? And that's because I didn't eye look beforehand, but I knew I wanted to use this for buffing. I just knew it, like the size of it, the density, the softness, everything. I was like, this, this is gonna be such a good buffing brush, especially especially when I don't want it to go too far. Like when I'm using a different powder here versus here and stuff like that. I, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me read to you what this is and even tell you the name of the brush. It is the Master Face. Whew, okay, okay, calm down. All right, the Master Face is a powder foundation brush, a buffer, a blender, but it can also be a bronzer and blush brush depending on the pigmentation of the products or precision you require. I will also be grabbing for this for my bronzer because I love this type of shape. I am likely going to buy another set today. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I am likely gonna go ahead and just purchase another set. So that should tell you how much I love this. It's a big and dense brush shaped like a ball. It is, look at it, it really is. The high density and added dyed, I'm gonna mess up the name of the bristles, so I'm gonna insert here. Give this brush lots of strength to pick up powder products and blend and buff. This brush even works with my Sicily Blur Expert Powder. I used it last night to see if it would pick it up and it does. There's not a lot of brushes that I really like to use with that particular powder. I really like to use this one, the Cheek Pro, but this one grabs more product and gets the job done just a little faster. So it works just beautifully with that powder. And that powder is such a finicky little thing. Let me get it out so I can show you in case you aren't aware of which one I'm talking about. It's a very densely packed powder right here. And you can pick can you see it? Just picks it up and you can just buff away. Oh, so nice. But I went in with my Hydra powder in the shade number 200. Really been loving these powders, you guys. <laughs> and I went all over and just buffed everything out with that. And I skipped this area because I used the lighter Hydra powder earlier for that. That is it for the demo. And now I just want to get into some final thoughts. First, I have to talk about the color. This color of blue is stunning and it was inspired by the sky and galaxies. It's just stunning. It has a gradient from like this beautiful blue down to black. And here is the original color right there. So you can see them side by side. Both of them have the gradient, but this one has like matches my shirt, like a really deep red down to black. And this one is blue with like a sparkle in it. Let me see, I'm gonna see what her description says. They are maple handles and they are coated with a gradient black to blue paint with silver, blue, and green micro particles that were sparkle in direct light. Yep, I can see that. They're beautiful. It looks like a really beautiful paint job on a car, like in a really expensive luxury car with that type of paint that you can just see all the shimmer in it. It's just beautiful. She, I, I just can't. I, these are absolutely stunning. The entire set is so well thought out so well done. There's not a single brush in this collection that I feel like eh, I'm probably not going to get a lot of use out of that because I don't do this or I don't do that. Everything in here has so many capabilities that 
I know I'm going to use every single one of these. And because I like this brush so much, I'm probably also going to be ordering the larger fan brush as well because now I feel like I need it. <laughs> I am so impressed. And it's not like I thought I would be anything less, but I'm more impressed than I even thought I would be. Anywho, I definitely recommend these. If you're a brush lover or you already have some of her brushes, you definitely need to add these to your collection. And again, a huge thank you to Sonia and Beautylish. I'm, I'm just grateful. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Please make sure you go check out Sonia's blog for more information. I will have that linked down below. I hope this was helpful and informative for you guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.